Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we go back to Hebras. We have tried to be there, or to go there, a couple of times already. Was it a couple of times, or was it just that once, where I screwed up and used up all my foods, and then had to starve a little bit? Also, you might notice that my crew is... My crew? My crew. My crew is really low. Because I let I left them building a factory over at uh, Lustrum. We're not necessarily gonna need to go back to Lustrum anytime soon, but we probably will go back to Lustrum pretty soon, uh, because we are going to after going to Hebras, we're going to New Winchester, um, and uh, and we're gonna see what is up. Because we need literature or Ministry approved literature, and uh, we don't have it. We need it because we need to go to Carillon to sort of dismantle some nasty things that are happening up to, uh, that are happening to the Tacities. Somebody is spreading rumors. It's not really rumors, it's propaganda. It's just saying things like, Oh, having things is nice! Look at all the things that you can have! Ah! And, uh, and the Tacities are... It's not that the Tacities don't want to have the things, it's just that they don't have the things. So, in, in, in Leo of getting the things, they want to hopefully make people not want to have things? It's kind of complicated. Materialism... Is uh oh oh materialism is a thing when when uh, when your establishment I guess as the stovepipes are that night your sleep is peppered with uncomfortable dreams your dream you dream of falling it's a common dream here the fogs oh, you don't say the fogs that bedevil the high wilderness are thick about you and through them below you see something stir a beast a behemoth. Almost a dragon, almost a whale, almost a continent. It gnaws on the roots of heaven, and all the fogs of the wilderness are its steaming breath. Its maw opens wide as the gulf between stars. You wake. And I have it comes. And I can gain terror and a tale of terror, which is pretty good. Uh, I can make sense of the dream, which gives me three tales of... Oh, I lose three tales of terror. And I gain a vision of heaven. I... You, you, I will gain terror, though, so I don't want that. I can have a conversation, tea, bisc uh, perhaps a biscuit. Those fundamental human things that help us forget numinous moments like this. Uh, and that that is because my engine is mostly crew by the leaving. Um, yes, I will want that. I don't want to lose... Oh, my terror has fallen. It did not, as far as I can tell. You find someone in the galley. They shouldn't sleep. They couldn't sleep either. You exchange a bleary greeting, a stiff pot of tea, and a conversation about the overflow valves. Already, you dr your dream seems distant and silly. I. It is silly. Don't don't bother me with the terrible things that actually can be quite good. The gaining of the terror is a bit of a concern to me though, because I I don't want to have the nightmares. So uh, I will stay where I am. So we're, uh, we're getting rid of the Fog of War, as you might have presumed, or might have heard from previous episodes, because I have been very diligent in that pursuit of mine, as well as the other pursuit, evidently, of um, going everywhere. The last place that I need to visit to get port reports from here, I don't know if I have them all, I guess I could go over here to Possessions, and go into port reports and look at all those Magdalens. Palmyra in Plenties, Port Prosper, Carillon, Lustrum, Titania, Port Avon, Trader's Wood, and Leadbeater and Stain Rods Nature Reserve. I have all of the port reports. I don't know that that does anything, but I have them, so I can sell them for good price. And actually, that is going to be really good. Don't crash against the tentacles. Thank you. Um, that is going to be really good because we need we need money. We are. I'm looking forward as well to going back to the, uh, the factory world. Mostly because th I'll never come back here, as far as I can tell. So, it's a new world that's just gonna open and be there forever. Okay, that's... Wow. Can I not get that? Okay. This is kind of nasty. I can try reversing.
That's surprising, actually, that I ever I was able to do that. I wonder if I can remove terror by going here. Again, experience. Send out crewmen. 69. Nice. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get experience instead. And hope that uh, Lustrum... Or rather, uh, Hiberia... He Hebras. Uh, not Iberia. Uh, that Hebras actually lowers my terror when I go there, even though there's nobody there. It's all very dangerous. The Rat Brigade is certain the dog will be the death of them. Not through hunting, but by amiable drowning. Amiable drowning because of the gob. Oh no, the rats are going to die. Amiable drowning. That's the worst death. Okay. I didn't lose terror. And here, here we are in Hebrus. I have my notebook at the ready. A fledgling colony. Mm-hmm. Hebrews is deserted, though. The crew requests a little R&R. &R. Absolutely. The crew requests a little R&R. &R. They follow you out into what passes for a meadow between living mushrooms and oozing polyps. The silence of the place hangs heavily on you. Some of the crew attempt to break it with a ballad of the promised days. 70% chance to, 50% to. I can for forage... I can join the crew in their song, and that is probably for the best. And my terror is fa has fallen. So I will write down that my terror can indeed fall, because that's important. Uh, and we can't buy anything. We can actually buy. So just that bar bargains, even though we normally wouldn't be able to buy anything. The colonists' house are dark. Yes, they are. I can write a port report. The station... Master professes ignorance is matter not improved in the absence of everyone else. There are new shades of to the fungus, indigo, crimson, jet. The, tr the trees have taken on a new pallid hue. Spores cloud the air. The silence is almost restful. Almost restful. I want. I would like it to be actually restful, but there's nothing here for us. Well, there's a port report. That there's that's one thing. Is that a terror? That is a terror or a horror, whatever. We're screwed. Oh, uh, well, our terror is going to be a problem. Doesn't that look like a place you could go into? It is not. I wonder if it, if it's meant to look like it. Because if you shine your light on there, you're not, not going to see it change. But you wouldn't expect it to change either. Because it's, it's just... It's light already. Okay, so we're going to Palmyra and Plenties. Oh, that's kind of nice. We might be able to mourn the dead. No, no, that's not... No, that is nice. Scavenge. Mourn the dead. Absolutely. Thank you. That's really nice. And, uh... Got Tackities. I know. I mean, I, I assume I know. Oh, that's a... Those are... Are those... Two guests... Trying not to crash here. Uh oh. A junior signaler receives a dose of medicinal port in the infirmary after seeing a frozen corpse. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, right. Can I not lose terror? Isn't there a way? Lose oh, but yeah, that's the one that usually gets me nightmares. Uh, jettison some supplies. Yeah, my terror has fallen, actually, so that's pretty good. Let me just get freaking my bearings here. I was turned around. Yep. So there were guests, I think, or whatever they are, infested, engines, and whatnot. And they were uh, fighting each other, as far as I can tell. Not 100% sure. Either way, we're good. Because we're going back to New Winchester. And from there, we're getting the miniature approved literature. We're going to... Do I ever... Do I even need to go to Lustrum? I mean, I suppose... Ow. I suppose I could go to Lustrum to get my crew back. But I don't know if that's really relevant. I'm at 48 terror. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a monster of death. Okay. Just a few charges. Oh, that was er horrible. Okay, that's, that's pretty bad. Okay. Okay, well, we got it. 
Ooh. There we go. What can we do? Render the fungus edible. Just get some treasure. Oh, it does bring my terror up. By five, I can handle that one, I think. Yep, because we're pretty close to home. So it's not a big deal. Hopefully it's not a big deal. Such lovely places. I do enjoy ruins that are, have been taken over by, by vegetation. One of the reasons why I'm a fan of Stalker, the game, I mean, uh, or games. And in fact, the uh, the other one that they made, I think Stalker 2 is under, in development now, but they, they made a, a game called uh, Sanitarium or something. They called it something. I don't I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But it was even more like that, more greenery and uh, all the things. It looked pretty good. It played like crap. <laughs> also, it wasn't it's it wasn't in the same vein as Stalker. I don't know why they decided to do arena battle, battle arena. What's it called? It's like it was like Counter Strike except lame. Um, new arrivals. Attempt to recruit. 51. We succeed. Three new recruits. That's pretty good. The greatest show. Collect my free tickets. Oh, that's right. We can just get... Lose our terror by looking at things. Or gain a bunch of things. Sky Wait, I should write that down. Palm you're in plenties. That gave me Sky Stories and Visions of Heavens. Sky Stories. Visions. Vision of Heaven. Yeah, those are important. Hmm. I can visit the amusements. My terror has fallen, I know that. Oh, I can just keep doing that. That works pretty well, too. <laughs> That's what... Well, that's one of the reasons why this map is so easy. This map is really easy, though. It's absolutely very easy. So, I can go behind the tents and recruit members from the circus. I, I'm going to do that. I got one, unfortunately. And, uh... That's good enough. Also, I have the shops. And I don't need anything else. Okay. So, we didn't even write a port report. Because we have the port report already? That's curious. Where? Oh, is it, it's a big top. It's this one. Port Prosper. It's this one. Palmyra and Blendies. Yep. I had been here already. Good stuff. So, New Winchester. Uh, that's attacking. Don't need to kill them. That's a thing as well. Might as well go there. Because this is just for... Trade a Sky Story for supplies. This will do stare. I just trade a sky story for supplies. It's always good. Sky stories come cheap. Supplies, not so much. And so new Winchester it is. We're gonna get all of our supplies, and in including hopefully new new bargains. I doubt we're gonna get new bargains, but hopefully we will. Um, and if we do, we're gonna load up on all the things. If uh, we don't, we're gonna load up on the things that. Uh, it's not bargains, it's opportunities. Uh, on the things that, uh, that our current opportunities require us to have. And uh, we're just gonna get out of here, basically. Although we might still need to come back, but the plan is to go east and then west without coming back to New Winchester. We'll see. So I'm in Victory Hall here because this is where we deliver all of my port reports. I was trying to dock, took forever. Let's also see. I don't believe I need to talk to everybody. Or to anybody. In regards to port reports. Lovely. Lovely. We're going to be able to do this for the clay conductor. And also we might be able to do these. Show me Chorister B. Yeah, I don't have that. And, uh... Do I get anything from here? Yes, I do. Petronella explains the situation... <laughs> Is that all the parts of the account number they need? No, says Petronella. She explains the situation while she empties the chambers of Cinders' Derringer for polishing. Is that a Derringer? Is that a weapon? 
Yeah, chambers would be a weapon. So that lieutenant, what... So that lieutenant, what Shiv does in the back at a critical juncture in return for a cushy position with the Windward Company, right? Yeah, Sarge gave him a number two. I didn't 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 know he was a baden. Any road, the lieutenant's got a plum office at Port Prosper. We're gonna have to get in, get his number, and get out. Preferably doing him in on the way. Port Prosper it is. These guys getting me everywhere. Uh, and they have the mascots, but they don't actually do anything. Uh, I can hear the end of Sarge's story from Pretornella and Alberect. Sure, what happened on the last mission? He brought... He has brought wine. She's brought scotch. I would have... It would have worked, Alberect says mournfully. But the lieutenant had taken a contract of his own. The the Windward Company. First, we knew of it was when... The company fired on their own engine. The governor was already well away on their on another locomotive. Sarge went down first. Bellowing for the rest of us to scarper, the daft bastard, Petronella adds. Next thing we know, half of us are dead, and the lieutenant's got a fancy new title with the Windward Company. Yep, that's basically the gist of what she told us before. So there we go, that's, that's pretty good. We don't need, the, at least with these people... We don't need the board reports. So I can trade a favor for a savage secret. So I can also gain favors over here. And this is important because I didn't write Victory Hall. I didn't note down. Actually, did I? Magdalene, Titania. I did not. I knew I didn't because this is not an actual city. This doesn't save my game. Um, this is just a little... They call it a... They have a name for it. It's not a port. But anyway, I can... I have a lot of favor, which is pretty good, and I can gain a uh, savage secret. And I'm gonna put down, put in between parentheses a favor because I can also get an otherworldly artifact. Otherworldly. Uh, I can also gain. Nope. No, trade favor to affect the balance. Oh, I can change the balance as well, which is pretty interesting. And chat with the Indurate Veteran. But that's just basically the whole thing. Okay, so let's get a couple of Savage Secrets over here. Their gratitude goes down. Uh, Oh, no, I can keep doing that. I can deliver my port reports as well. That's probably going to bring their gratitude up. Yeah, that sounds good to me right now. We have three spare Savage Secrets because we're going to need to use two, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's deliver my port ports to the Interet Veteran, which is going to be amazing because it's a thousand sovereigns and uh, the stovepipes are struggling and the Tacketys are prosperous. And their gratitude is through the roof. I'm going to get an another worldly artifact over here. I don't know how many I have. I have enormous amounts, so I don't need that as much. Uh, and I'm going to get Savage Secret again just for the journey because I'm going to affect I'm going to affect the balance. You've provided a great deal of information rather than repaying the debt. You'd rather the Tackett is used it to for is used it in the cause of independence. The Indirect Veteran leads you to her office. It's paneled with bronze wood. A painting from the old world hangs on one wall, a single sun burning in a bleak blue sky. Below the sun is a temple, tiered with brightly colored gods. The veteran pours you brandy, and you discuss distant ports and the patterns of recent events. Independence is a charming idea, she confesses after an hour. But when London comes, it'll take a nation to stand against her. And the distinction here, I assume, being that a nation is a people rather than independence, because you can have dependent nations. That's not a word used, but as in, in opposition to independent nations. Uh, like, for example... Well, I'm actually... I was thinking of the United Kingdom, but technically that wouldn't be the term we used very oft we use very o very often because the nation of Scotland we th you usually think of the country of Scotland which is a different type of distinction altogether it's not 
mutually exclusive one and the other but you know there's there's nations like uh i don't know their names though but like the the first nations in in canada and uh their counterparts in the united states the uh the um they have they have a name i don't i don't know that anyway but still they, they still are nations within the bigger nation of canada which is a lot shakier of a notion than than their own as uh or the first nations but i wonder if that is so now we're tolerated I've lost reputation with the Windward Company. What the? Wait a minute. What did I have before? I was struggling. I lost for 31. Wait, what? I've lost 10 fortunes for stovepipes. Oh, it's the stovepipes in the Windward Company. And now they're struggling. That's the one. So this, this is against everybody. Fortunes and reputation. I gain reputation. I'm now admired by the Tackities. Absolutely. And I can do that. How much? I wonder how much. Is it 10? No, it's 5. Okay, that's good. Because I I didn't have... I had, I had like 29. <laughs> and so, I, yeah. Uh, so, that's pretty good. The, the I'm now esteemed by the Tackities. I'm disliked, actively disliked by the Windward Company. And the Stovepipes, still struggling. But I think they're like a different... They're like a faction of, of that. I'm being ruthless here. Um... I'm esteemed right now. The Tackities have a total of 99. And I'm loathed by the Windward Company. And I'm de and the stovepipes are desperate. I think the stovepipes is just the people. And notice the the Tackities. And over here, Tackities. Whereas Tackities are thriving. And the Tackities. Maybe that's the faction and this is the uh, the people. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep doing it. I don't know how much I have, but I'll trade all my things. Uh, thriving ninety nine. Oh, it it keeps going above a hundred. I'm now beloved. I wonder if it goes below zero as well. I ho I wonder how where I'm at. I needed two. I have six. Sounds good to me. Uh, and uh, affect the balance. It's still the same dialogue. And no, it doesn't go below zero. Okay. Let's chat with her and, le uh, and learn what's going on. No, it, she's just telling me to get her port reports, which is fair enough. This is very much worthwhile. And of course, we don't have port reports, any more port reports to trade. Uh, so I now assume that I will be shot or hunted down by uh, pretty much everybody that I see, except for the Tackities, the drunkest of them all. And there we go. I press dock. Don't give me that. There we go. So, shops, bazaar. No prospect available. That is unfortunate. Victoria's Market. Yes, I will need a few of these, please. Thank you. Another one. There we go. Okay. Then, uh, wasn't there a place for me to fix the ship? There was a place for me to fix the ship. Okay. Do I need Chorister Nectar anywhere? I do not. I have tea as well. Ooh, this is going to be good. Okay, so... Let's go for the clay conductor. Attempt clay singing. The clay conductor wishes a singing partner. You've heard a couple of examples. Perhaps you could give it a try. Oof. Mixed with sugar and water, the nectar's taste is almost worth the wrist-wrenching labor. You gargle it just as you saw the clay conductor do. Your throat feels as though it has expanded. Your vocal range has widened. You can fur project further. Your voice is richer and more resonant. The practice is exhausting. Your vocal cords throb with the low notes and trill with the high. You sing of the rock and shale, the areas of quarrying, labor, and the living clay. It's passable, but not there yet. But more practice will surely make perfect. And I have lost moments of inspiration and lost Chorister. My singing is horrible. So I can keep giving it a try. I will... Mm, let's ask the clay conductor about his search. He wasn't impressed by the music at Magdalene's. Should you be looking elsewhere for other candidates suitable for a clay choir? The clay conductor is going through his suitcase. The urn lies on the floor. We used to tour the work worlds together, he tells you. Rarely appreciated, but we got paid. 
he unearths a sheaf of pages, and we wrote our own music. If I could just find someone capable of the harmonies again. He begins to rife through the sheets. His lips move with the notes. One larger finger chasing the key changes across the page. Or the pages. He, sh he starts as he remembers you are still in his cabin. Forgive me, Captain. His voice is a little thicker than usual. I'm afraid I'm going to take the afternoon off. And uh, he will need a little time. I can still attempt to... To sing... The clay conductor is carrying out his duties with drive, if not success. The crew are complaining of excessive grumpiness. You find him in his cabin. The conductor offers a brief apology and nothing further. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm just not in the mood for conversation. He closes the door. So we could in in inquire him a little bit more. Uh, but we are not because we are out of time for the day. So we're going to continue doing our thing here in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.